We begin tonight with that breaking news out of North Tonawanda. This is the damage left behind after a passenger train crashed into a pickup truck near River Road and Felton Street just a few hours ago. And as we come on the air tonight, that area remains closed. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And I'm Scott Levin. Two on your sides, Nate Benson has been at the scene of the crash all evening long. He joins us live tonight with what he has just learned in the last hour. Nate. Yes, Scott and Mary Ellis, this is the scene right behind me. I know it's a little dark, but as you can see, that Amtrak train that was heading northbound on the tracks that collided into that pickup truck is still there. Emergency crews remain on scene. We are told that three people were inside that pickup truck when that Amtrak train crashed into it, but we do not know the condition of those people at this hour officially. River Road is closed between Ward Road and Wheatfield Street in North Tonawanda. Uh, Amtrak says the crash happened just after 8 o'clock this evening. Amtrak also says that no one on the train was injured. There were 21 people on the train when the crash occurred. The train originated from New York City and was heading to Niagara Falls. Amtrak also says they are working with local law enforcement at this hour as the investigation is unfolding. I reached out to the NTSB to find out if investigators uh, for their agency are on the way to Western New York as well, but I have not heard back at this hour. Now this is the second train crash in this area since January. You may remember back in January, a woman was killed when an Amtrak train crashed into her Hyundai Elantra on Whitmer Road, and that's just a half mile away from where we're standing right now. Back here live again, we do not know the condition of those three people that were in that truck when the Amtrak train crashed into it earlier this evening. I'm told by North Tonawanda officials they will provide more information to us tomorrow morning once they sort through the early parts of this investigation, but emergency crews are going to be remaining on scene into the overnight as they try to piece together what exactly happened. Live and on your side in North Tonawanda, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.